All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Do you see me? I see you. All right. Habari za Sabui. Habari za Mchana. Habari za Gioni. Brothers and sisters all over the world, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whichever time of the day this message finds you, the name of this channel is The African Times, and I'm Thomas. Okay, everybody, I had to jump back in just for a second. Uh, I'm excited uh, to find out that uh, there's another African country that have, has released or put up into space another satellite. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's happening. Yeah, well, as it turns out, uh, remember I told you uh, not too long ago I released a video explaining to you that Zimbabwe uh, has put a satellite in space. Well, that satellite was launched by a rocket made, I think, in the United States by NASA. That's where it was launched. Now, whether or not NASA made the rocket, whether they purchased a rocket from someplace else, or a combination of efforts uh, came together, a combination of countries, or engineers, scientists, or what have you, to manufacture the rocket, I don't know, but it was, it was released it was launched in, in NASA, U U.S. And as it turns out, Zimbabwe had a satellite on the rocket and there was another, Uganda. Uganda had a satellite on the rocket as well. So uh, two satellites went up into space to be established in orbit. So that's a... That's, that's a really, really good, good thing. Let's hope that it catches on. Let's hope that uh, all the wonderful African nations uh, that are on the continent, the black African nations, people that look like you and me, let's hope that they come together, uh, unify themselves, unite themselves in such a way that uh, they combine their efforts technologically and scientifically so that they put up a shield put up a shield around the African continent in such a way that the good brothers and sisters on the continent uh, are protected uh, now remember I talked to you uh, and I'm not going to keep you long but I just want to reiterate that this is a very, very important step in the right direction because it's just not about placing the satellite on the U.S. rocket. It's about having in the minds of the people the understanding that that type of technology is necessary for our survival. And this is nothing to play with. This is extremely serious stuff. I'm at the end of my life, and many of you who watch me, you, you're in the middle of it or at the end like me. Okay? so. Uh, my life is over. Your life is over. The lives of our children are uh, now the dominant part of our life. Our motivation for living here, our motivation for remaining alive is to make sure that those children of the future have a future, a prosperous future, a future without fear of another group of people dominating them and determining the lifestyle that they have. So this is a very, very significant, a very significant occurrence. And again, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, Zimbabwe, kudos, Uganda, kudos, uh, tear those satellites apart, find out all the information you can about uh, what type of technical requirements are necessary to launch your own rocket from your own area. And I'm sure they're doing that. I, this is not a statement on my part to say that they're not doing that. I'm sure they're doing that. The very fact that they have in their minds the understanding that 
a satellite is necessary for whatever they're publicly saying it's needed for means that those individuals, if they're reasonable people, they understand the other capabilities of a satellite that deal with protection. Okay? And and we have to, uh, we're men, so we, we, we have to discuss these things and make sure our children and our our society know about them. And so uh, me, uh, content creators like me and others, uh, you have to spread the word about this. You have to spread the word. You have to send this uh, video out to people or you make your own video and you spread the word among our people all over the world the diaspora, so that it's on their minds, it's in their hearts, it's in their spirits, it's in their consciousness. And then before you know it, generations will arise and they'll have the understanding of the necessity of these items and the technological uh, benefits of, of uh, manufacturing these items on our own without the aid of uh, foreign powers particularly the W's, uh, the West, because they've demonstrated openly and clearly that the, the best interest of people like who look like you and me is not a part of their plans and, and it's not in their intentions to make sure that we're safe and protected. And, and that's understandable. That's our responsibility. Uh, so spread the word. Tell everybody, yeah, now... The Africans are in space. And those of you who have uh, skills, there are opportunities here, economic opportunities. Um, you know, the, the Amazons of the world, the Netflix of the world, the, the various uh, uh, social media uh, companies, um, people who have been able to use uh, technology uh, such as this, satellites and things of that nature to create entire industries, those are hundreds of thousands and millions of jobs. And these, these opportunities are available for us. You don't, you don't grab uh, your, tech, your, your, your intellectual capacity and go give it to other people, particularly people who are gonna destroy you, all right? So, uh, yeah, we'll go into more about that later. That's the economic component of it. So, uh, but congratulations to uh, Zimbabwe and Uganda for uh, taking these steps. And I, I, I remember hearing President Museveni, president of Uganda, say some time back, uh, his, he expressed his interest in nuclear technology. And I remember one of the titles of the video, was, he shocked the world, you know. And nothing shocking about it, it's normal. He's, he's a reasonable, normal man in, in, in his right mind. And he understands, probably better than others, he, in here in East Africa, not too far away from South Africa, you understand what you're facing. And that, cha that, that the challenge is never going to go away. So uh, just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that. Uh, congratulations again to Zimbabwe and Uganda for doing that. Um, yeah, you... Every now and then, look up uh, President Museveni uh, and listen to some of the things he's saying. Because he talked about, in a recent video that I saw, I don't know how, I don't remember when the video was made, but a video I saw, he was, he was saying, what were we doing? What were the chiefs doing when they knew we faced a threat? Hundreds of years ago, when they knew. And they knew and they had time to do something about it to be prepared, but they, you know, for whatever reason, uh, and they waited to do something a little bit too late. Because these people, they spend, these people, you have to understand, these people spend nothing but time. They have a whole system, of an educational system, the colleges, the universities, think tanks, all of that. Those people, work 24 hours a day just figuring out how can we 
dominate the world and maintain that domination. Okay? So good again, Zimbabwe and Uganda, Sante Sana. Thank you very much for having the courage to do these things. And and now let's as a, do our part. I told you before, it's not only up to those people, but there's a bigger thing here, and we have to spread that, that news, that information to our people. Hey, we're doing this. We're up in space. And then, and, and then we all come together and have these conversations about how to utilize that uh, opportunity in such a way that it benefits our posterity. Okay? All right. So I hope you guys uh, understand and enjoy. I'm going to let you see a little clip of, of the, uh, the, the, uh, the satellite on the rocket headed into space. Take care. Ooh, hoo, roo. Ooh, hoo, roo. Ooh, hoo, roo.